Hello everybody, you can call me Hunch, and today I'm gonna tell you why I think Bitcoin is going to all-time highs. Now, I said this about uh, maybe 12 days ago, 15 days ago, I believe it was January 13th, I said I think Bitcoin is gonna break its all-time highs, and then I made another video where I said everybody is gonna be in disbelief and Bitcoin has a possibility of going to 250,000. You know, do I think it's gonna get there? Maybe, maybe not, uh, but I would not be surprised, and I'm gonna tell you why. Now, to give you some background, I called the crypto winter perfectly, so I'm not just some random person telling you stuff. Uh, I just want to show you a clip from a year ago when I called the crypto winter, okay? So, let's uh, dive on in, okay? Oh, perfect. My cam's right there. Okay. So, this is uh, a big YouTuber, and he's talking about ZK rollups and how they're the next big thing, okay? So, here we go. But here we go. So, he said... Avalanche will eventually need an L2, just like Solano blocks will fill up and they'll need an L2, right? And so now the solution is ZK rollups. But here is the kicker. Let's go ahead and look at some of the top coins and their market caps, right? Ethereum, $500 billion in market cap, right? Binance coin, $100 billion, right? That's a L1. Solano, L1, $58 billion, right? Shiba, does it has smart contracts and l1 type system 21 billion right crypto 19 billion terra 17 billion all l1s right then which is even more damning we've got polygon a layer two solution in the top 20 coins with 20 billion dollars in market cap algorand 10 billion another l1 l elrond is moving up there right there's a, a bunch of l1s moving into the uh, top 10, top 20, right? The problem is, is why I think there's going to be a crypto winter is because there is so much liquidity and so much market cap and in all of these, right? And if you're going to need to scale them anyway with more L2s and more coins, right? And then ZK rollups is going to render them completely useless. Right? Okay, you get the idea. I had a bunch of comments saying, oh, you don't support innovation, blah, blah, blah. You can scroll through this video. I have so many haters, it's unbelievable. Okay, but that was pretty much the top of the market. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about why I think it's going to make all-time highs this year. Well, first of all, I want to touch on FTX was selling paper Bitcoin. That's out of the picture. I think a lot of the leverage is gone. Uh, and I think the demand is there, right? And, and the hodlers have been buying through every drawdown, right? And, and just some motivation, I know that being a hodler and being a bitcoin is very hard and it's very dark and these winters are are very uh grueling but i i, I want to tell you that i i knew that we were going down okay and i didn't sell out okay uh, but but you have to fight right i mean that's what being a bitcoiner is all about and i'm going to get more into that okay so here's some uh, good fundamentals right Arizona is introducing a bill to uh, make Bitcoin legal tender, make them so they can accept it in the government for, for different uh, taxes or whatever you want, you name it. OK, uh, here's some good more news. Blockstream, they're they're part of the liquid network. Nobody, you know, retail doesn't really use them, but they are still growing. OK, they are hiring developers uh, and they're working on institutional mining services. And actually, I do have uh, my hardware wallet by them. Jade, it works pretty well. OK, uh, this is what I was saying. It's hard to be a Bitcoiner, right? We should never question the creditworthiness of the United States government. Uh, this is part of the financial structure of the world. We should not be playing games with this. Okay. This is by JP Morgan. This means they are scared. Okay. They're calling Bitcoin a fraud still. They're, they're trying everything in their power, right? To take this thing down and, and they can't, right? And, and that's what freedom is all about. So I don't care what you have to do. I don't care if you have to cry in your car and watch motivational videos like I do, okay, on your way to work, or or, or talk to your friends or your family or, or write in a journal. You have to stay in it, okay? And not financial advice. You have to be in it for the right reasons. Do whatever you want. But they are going to try to take us down and take us down and, and take us down, right? I even wrote, the end is nigh, okay? They're, they are scared uh, of this new system, okay? The last thing is, since Jackson Hole, when Powell said there will be pain, right? So that's the, the Federal Reserve talking about pain because uh, what I've realized through all my research, and I, I've listened to tons of economists uh, and everything, right? People who say the Fed creates money, people who say the Fed doesn't create money. 
right? Uh, people that are respected. And what I think is, is it's somewhere in between. I think, but I fall into the camp where I don't think the Fed has that much control. I think they are literally using, aka mind control, okay? They are trying to sway you around in, in sort of different directions and uh, to, to change your behavior. I don't think they have any control over this. I think the market is calling their bluff. And if you look at Bitcoin, uh, it usually bottoms and goes up before the stock market. So uh, maybe the stocks will follow. Maybe they won't. I don't care. I think Bitcoin breaks all time high, all time highs this year. I think all the people that are going sideways and blah 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 blah, they weren't this guy, right? They weren't this little YouTuber saying, "Everyone, this is so stupid. This doesn't make any sense. This is completely ridiculous." There's a billion. There's a, hundreds of billions of dollars worth of L1s, and they all do the same thing or nothing, and they all need to be scaled five layers deep, which is what Bitcoin does anyway, in a more decentralized way. Okay. So what do I think? I'm calling their bluff. I think we've bought them. I think we all hit all time highs. I. Think everybody thinks we're going to retest, go sideways, chop. I think we're breaking all time highs and we're going way over 69,000 this year. Do whatever you want. I'm not, you know, but I think all the same people that were calling me nuts and that we're going to 400K and there's no crypto winter are the same people that were saying we're going to 400K, 250K uh, and, and ignoring the reality situation. So you can call me hunch. I've mainly made this video to be a motivational video for you. You've got to stay in the game. You've got to believe in yourself. Look, I've even got uh, my first my first video over here is a motivational video. I'm going through it too, but you have got to got to got to got to have some kind of love and tenderness for Bitcoin. Okay, you can call me Hunch.